I'm going to critique my own throw here. Uh, just talk about what I thought I did well in this throw. I thought this throw was pretty close technically uh, to what I want. That if I could <clears throat> hit this and fix a couple things, I could be uh, right where I want overall. I thought uh, good good out of the unwind. Uh, good, good job keeping the left hip just being rotational. Uh, really worked the right side well. Uh, could have kept the discus open or uh, perpendicular to the ground, just to keep just to keep the chest open, nice and nice and long. Keep the orbit long through the middle. <clears throat> uh, but I thought the right leg was was really good off the back. Maybe could have been uh, a little better to the left. It kind of it kind of right off right off the ground comes up a little bit. But in general, it's uh, it's it's pretty close to where I want it to be and you, and you can see that uh, later on in the throw that uh, like my left foot my left foot lands kind of closed at the front I would want to see it I would want to see it essentially uh, pointing towards the sector <clears throat> just to be as open as it can possibly be um, but overall uh, I think I think that right leg is is pretty good like I said could be a little more uh, Drive to the left right away. Um, also, I, I thought a major flaw in this throw was my left uh, arm in the middle. I thought when when <clears throat> when my right leg started to drive into the middle, I thought my left arm just sort of pulled me out of that position. And you can see that I really don't hit with a with a, a deep angle. In the chest, so I'm a little tall for my liking. I, I really wanna, I really wanna be in that position. So, so when that discus hits right there, instead of it being at my hip, it can be below my hip. And you can see, you can see this, in, and especially in uh, Robert Harding, but you can also see it in Alekna and <clears throat> and all the great throwers. They they hit a really deep uh, down orbit at the front. Uh, so I thought I thought when my right leg when my right leg is driving I could maybe uh, for lack of a better term stall that left arm out to allow <coughs> to allow my rotation to continue when when I pull when I pull that left arm out and I continue that rotation I'm forcing the energy to go up because I no longer have an axis to rotate on. So if I if I when I when I get to the end of drive phase, I need to I need to stop that left shoulder, left arm, essentially just that that left side <clears throat> so I can rotate around that. And that's another reason that my left foot lands kind of closed at the front. And it's also the reason that I really don't get super deep in the middle, like I like I mentioned earlier. Uh, but even even with that, um, I still thought I hit a pretty good middle position. Now, uh, the the positions from there end up being uh, sort of, I guess, shallow or not as long and uh, as deep as they could be. So I'm not getting as much on the discus as I would, you know, if I was really hitting hitting those good positions. Um, so. So like I said, I think I think uh, right leg right leg go out left better, and the left shoulder could stall out here better, so that I can actually uh, hit with a deep chest in the middle. And you can see like that. That's what I'm really that's what I'm really struggling with right now. Is I'm getting to the middle, and there's really just nothing there. Everything is everything is really rotational, which is which is good. But then there's nothing. The disc is really isn't coming down. It's not really reacting because it can't because my chest is so tall in the middle. Um, so I gotta I gotta make that happen by like I said just just stopping that left arm right here and not pulling it out. You can see on my elbow bends. That's because that's because I'm 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 forcing I'm forcing rotation when it shouldn't be forced. So if you see if you see that elbow bend in there, that means you're that means you're pulling out on it and you shouldn't be. That 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 left arm should be nice and long. And if you and if you stop that rotate if you stop the rotation on the left side to allow the right side to rotate around the left side, then you'll see that left arm is nice and long. I've actually uh, improved on this since this throw. 
uh, so it's it's gotten a little better, but I've kind of been slacking with my with my right leg out of the back um, since this throw. So that's essentially what I see I can do better. Uh, maybe maybe a little bit bigger chest at the end too, uh, but that's not as pertinent here because I really don't hit with it that deep of a chest in the middle so uh, I really don't have to try to hold that angle as I'm coming around um, but I thought I thought the right I thought the right knee finished really well into the left side you know nice solid uh, solid straight left leg at the at the uh, at the block and the left side blocks together which I really like um, but I just thought I just thought I could get more out of positions, and this is something that's uh, really important. And this is what the pros do really well: is they really work positions. Um, you can see I, I just kind of I hit positions, but they're not really that exaggerated. And exaggerated positions, you know, uh, essentially pushing them to the brink of what they can be before they mess your movement up, are what make the discus go far.